Hey guys, it's your favorite Mets fan here. Just having a drink of Schweppes Lemon Lime. Today I'm here to announce, excuse me, some very big news. MLB announced last night around 9 o'clock p.m. that there will be a MLB season. After all the months and months of back and forth fighting over salaries, over games, over every single possible statistic that has to do with money or games played with the league due to the coronavirus, MLB Player Association leader Tony Clark and MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred came to an agreement. Well, they didn't come to an agreement, actually. They still disagreed. Tony Clark rejected the, well, the MLB Player Association with Tony Clark and uh, rejected the proposal for 60 games of prorate, pro prorate rated salaries as MLB wanted um, less games with the full salaries where the players wanted more games with the full salaries. So it basically forced the hand of Commissioner Rob Manfred to go ahead and implement the agreement that the two sides had back from late March around the time of the start of the coronavirus outbreak. Which means that MLB will have a 60 game season. It means that MLB will have a season starting on the weekend of July 24th to the 26th, which is about a month from now. And it also means that baseball is back. How about that, people? Who would have thought even a month ago with the two sides going back and forth, up and down, left and right, and everywhere possible disagreeing on every single aspect, that baseball is finally coming back, not due to them agreeing, not due to the two sides, the player association and the owners coming to an absolute you know, understanding, because they haven't gotten along since the strike of 94, which almost really affected baseball in more ways than, than just money. It also destroyed the Expos franchise back in 94. But the good news is that there is going to be baseball. Now, my predictions on the Mets are going to come soon, as soon as the players report to the spring training camps, which the camps are going to be in different locations. They could be maybe in, like, like the, like the I mean, the commissioner. The Governor Como allowed the Mets and Yankees to play at their home stadiums for spring training. And most of the games will be played at the team's home stadiums. Even in the states that, I believe, even in the states that had the uh, outbreak worse recently, like Florida, Texas, and Arizona. But if anything, they could always move the games to another state, like maybe where the minor league team plays or anything, because there won't be fans anyway. So even in the states that have more cases than not, they could always move the games to another stadium that's non-existent with the virus as much as, as, much as like Florida, Texas, and Arizona. But I am just one to say I am so excited for baseball. I can't wait to make reviews on the Mets this year like I did with the Jets last year with football. And I really cannot wait to just express myself and show videos of my excitement on the Mets. So make sure to be tuned in to MetsFan92 on all my reviews of the Mets this year as the season starts. Let's go Mets. L-F-G-M. Thanks, Pete Alonzo.